Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you people so today we are going to study about transformational generative grammar let's get started the name transformational generative suggests that there are two aspects of theory the grammar it provides is both transformational as well as generative these two aspects are not logically dependent on each other right so transformational it is because of the shortcomings of the phrase structure grammar and because of the other reasons that noam chomsky came to hold the view that notion of phrase structure are quite adequate for a small part of the language and that the rest of the language can be derived by repeated application of a rather simple it's simple it's not dimple i'm sorry it's just a writing error simple set of transformations to the strings given by the phrase structure grammar to cover the the entire language directly okay a transformation can be thought of as the act of transforming one sentence into another the deep structure into surface stru surface structure whereas active sentences are kernel sentences passives are transforms according to r h robbins essentially transformation is a method of stating how the structures of many sentences in languages can be generated or explained formally as the result specific transformations applied to certain basic sentence structures their basic sentence types or structures are not necessarily basic or minimal from the point of view of immediate constituent analysis the transformational syntax presupposes a certain amount of phrase structures a grammar of the immediate constituent type to provide the basis or the kernel from which transformation starts for example has john seen mary is a transform of john has seen mary by a simply transfer of has which is technically described as permutation a snake was killed by mohan is the transform of the sentence in the active voice mohan killed a snake by passivization generative the second characteristic of transformational grammar is that it is generative this means that a grammar must generate all and only the grammatical sentences of a language by this is not meant that a grammar should literally at any time bring all these sentences into existence it means merely that grammar must be so formulated that by following its rules and conventions we could produce all or any of the possible sentences of the languages right so grammar should generate specify predict the grammatical acceptable sentences of the language and not the ungrammatical or unacceptable ones so a generative grammar is not concerned with any actual set of the sentences of the language but with possible set, set of sentences we are only concerned merely or solely even primarily with any observed sentences utterances that have occurred the advocates of the transformational grammar have said that any corpus has a finite number of sentences no matter how large yet a language consists of an infinite number of sentences to say that a grammar is generative is to say that it is explicit that it is explicitly clearly methodically methodically and uh, accurately indicates that just what are the possible sentences of the language it leaves nothing to chance nothing to readers intelligence or his knowledge of the language i should leave nothing to the imagination and it should it should i'm sorry it should uh, it's just a writing error please forgive me for that it 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 should leave nothing to the imagination and should be formulated step by step in such a way that the generation of sentences of a language should be a pure mechanical procedure even a person who did not know the language could generate sentences by following the simple rules step by step so our lesson of today has ended and i hope you have understood and have understood quite well what the transformational generative grammar means what it is all about so please like share and comment and kindly subscribe to my channel it's a huge request thank you so much bye bye take care